Welcome again to a lovely day. This is your host, Sister Antronas. It is indeed a lovely day, for it is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I'm going to discuss with you the topic of guidance. I'm sure we are all eager to know how to find God's will because it's really so difficult if we're just doing our own ways without consulting the Lord. But for many of us, I'm sure, we still don't know how. I'm not here to share with you perfect formula for infallible guidance. My sharing is not meant to provide you with all the answers. I'm here by the grace of God to encourage you all to be more sensitive to the Holy Spirit because man tends to depend so much on his own plans and ideas. Ang plano po ng Panginoon sa atin ay napakaganda. But sometimes, or most of the time, we do not allow Him to lead us to attain this God's beautiful plan for us. When something unfavorable happens, na hindi ka nais-nais, ika nga, eh, anong ginagawa natin most of the time, we complain God. Hindi natin nare-realize na hindi natin siya kinonsulta. We just, you know, wala, hindi na, minsan, hindi na tayo nagdadasal. Basta sige lang, ginagawa natin kung anong pumasok sa ating kaisipan or because what could be the reason? Maybe because we don't have that personal living relationship with God. Pagka meron tayong relationship sa isang tao, di ba we talk to that person, we consult that person, you know, it's so nice to have someone to uh, to tell about our problems, about things that we need to make decisions, kaminsan, about our job, our career. It's so nice to have someone. It, you don't feel alone. But kuminsan po ang nagiging reaction natin is instead of going to God first, we go to our friends, family. That's okay. There's no nothing wrong with that. Pero hindi rin nila po alam kung ano ang tama. You know, most of the time they uh, they give us advice that it conforms to the standard of the world kasi kung ano ginagawa ng iba or what they think okay sa kanila okay din sa atin but my dear friends it is very important not to make God our, our, our last resort but sa kanya muna tayo pumunta at humingi ng guidance you might be asking me at this time how can we talk to someone we don't see how can we get the answers you know what, my dear friends? Hindi natin nakikita ang Panginoon, pero believe you me, you can experience Him. It's just like the electricity, for example. I- subukan nyo ipasok yung daliri nyo dun sa outlet. What will happen to you? Sigurado makokuryente kayo. You see, you don't see the electricity, but you can feel and experience the power of that electricity. In the same way, hindi natin nakikita ang Panginoon because He is a Spirit. But we can feel His power. We can experience His power. You know, uh, in the renewal, in the charismatic renewal, we are taught that uh, God is alive. Amen? He wants to talk to us in our thoughts and most especially in our hearts. Amen? <laughs> God is alive, really, and He is always expressing His love to us by caring for our needs. Therefore, we need to respond to this love by surrendering our will to God. You know, my brothers and sisters, God gave us a free will. This is the greatest gift and honor that he has given us the free will we can make our own decisions we have our own mind yes God gave us our own mind but even that we need to surrender to him 
because he is not a God who will interfere. He is a God who will honor that free will. He will honor our decisions. In Matthew 7, 21, it says, Not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do what my Father in heaven wants me to do. So, yun ang ano ng Panginoon sa atin, our God. Not because we are praising Him, we're, we're saying, Lord, Lord, we can enter the kingdom of heaven. He wants us to do His will. And His will is all in the Bible. Kaya kung minsan, mga kapatid, it, hindi natin alam talaga kung ano ang dapat natin gawin. Kaya ngayon, I'd like to share with you some ways on how to seek God's guidance. Gaya ng sinabi ko, God will not twist our arms to do His will because of our free will. All we need to do, my dear brothers and sisters, is to sur surrender that will to God because He will direct and guide us. God's plan is always the best. Do you want the second best? Let me illustrate to you an analogy. Supposing you got lost in the forest. You, could, you, you do not know where to go. So what will happen? You get so scared, you know, and terrified. And all of a sudden, there's a person there you met. Just one person. What will you do? I'm pretty sure you might even hug that person and cling to that person and will not let go of that person. Because you feel you're all alone there in the forest. Pag dilim na, mag-isa ka na lang, mag-isa ka na lang doon. Takot na takot ka. So, nung nakakita ka na isang tao na alam kung paano lumabas sa forest, hindi ba kakapit ba yawa ka, ka nga. You will really cling to that person because he knows the way out. In the same manner, we have God, our God, who knows all the answers to our question, who knows all the way out from all our problems. Why can't we consult him and ask him? is the only one who can truly help us. So, my dear friends, this is one of the topics in our seminar on November 26, Saturday, at St. Bernard Church, Beach Street, Bellflower, California, 90706. You are all invited to attend. Uh, here, you will really, truly learn how to seek God's guidance, how to be guided by God so that it will not be a trial and error ang buhay natin. You know, yung trial and error, in other words, para bang umpog dito, umpog doon, da parito, da paroon. It's really, hindi ko naman sinasabi na it's gonna be perfect once we know all about how, you know, to seek God's guidance. But then, mababawasan po mga kapatid ang ating mga mistakes sa buhay because God will guide us. So, I'll be waiting for you there. So, this is again your host, Sister Antronas. Till our next lovely day. Take care.